Hello. Hello. I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. Hmm, I would... Eh. What is a good job title for me, I guess? Logistics company worker, perhaps? I don't know. Anyway, uh, hello. Hello. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Got things a little bit messed up there. Anyway. Yes. Tonight, we're playing some more Mika and the Witch's Mountain. And I suppose I don't have a whole lot else to be said to say about that. But yes. As I mentioned on Twitter, yeah. Didn't, uh... Yes. Good restful slumber, uh, eluded me. Uh... Well, eluded me yesterday. The day before yesterday. What was... I... Yeah. Basically, I stayed up too late one night, and then I didn't really catch up on sleep the next night, and, uh... Because of that, I was not able to stream yesterday as planned. But yes. So... At first, I chased it away, and then it deluded me afterwards. I'm doing okay now. I'm still a little bit tired. So we're definitely not going to be streaming late. At least not later than normal. But yes. So, let's see, what else is there? So yes. So there was no stream on Wednesday. We were originally planning on streaming this on Wednesday. But yes. Probably we'll be playing... Or er, hold on. Yeah, today's Thursday. So yes, so tomorrow would be Friday. So we will... Oh yeah, tomorrow is Friday, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, okay. <laughs> Pardon, I'm doing all of the math in my head right now. So yes, so tomorrow we should be seeing... Or, well, we will see. We will see what we see. Um... But yeah, because Sheps was not 100% certain if they'd be able to make it to the planned collab. If so, we will be playing Coffee Talk. We will be concluding it, most likely. Though, again, I said that before last time, so... But yes, we will most likely be concluding Coffee Talk. And then, if available, I might also stream Saturday for a little bit more Arc Nights. And I should say that if I, yeah, if we don't do the Coffee Talk collab, Sheps and I, on Friday, for some reason I keep thinking it's Wednesday today. All sorts of out of whack. Anyway, I was going to say my internal clock is a bit off, but I guess it's more of an internal calendar. Okay, let's take it from the top. Tonight, we are playing Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Tomorrow. If we collab with Sheps, we are going to be playing Coffee Talk. Otherwise, we are going to be playing Arc Nights. One way or the other, the stream will most likely start around 9 p.m., perhaps a little bit earlier. Yeah, I would have liked to have started this one a little bit earlier, but I stayed a little bit later at work than I was planning on, because things ran later than I was planning on, basically. And it was just kind of a thing. Anyway, um... I've gotten off topic again. Anyway. Tomorrow's stream should be around 9 p.m. I'll aim for a little bit earlier if possible, but it will be what it will be. And then the Saturday stream will be most likely 8.30 p.m. Arc nights, all that. But yes. I don't know how regular we're going to be making this. I've, yeah, I am led to believe that this game is fairly short. So we're probably not going to be playing it for all that long. And afterwards, we'll probably be looking for another game to sort of play in the background. But yeah, again, I sort of wanted to expand a little bit from having played pretty much exclusively Arc Knights for several months. But yeah. So, I don't know exactly what I would want to play otherwise. But yeah, I picked this game mostly just because I became aware of it again, and because I wanted to play it, and I don't know, not a whole lot of other things in mind. I definitely don't want to start another sort of long-running, sort of uh, high-commitment game. But yeah, I could always pick up, say, uh, Tales of Arise or something like that, some other existing game project that I've been meaning to get through. But I want to save that for when I can focus on it, you know, once we're past Arc Knights, which granted will probably take a while. Of course, I did originally plan not to necessarily, 
yeah, I didn't initially plan to play Ark Knights all the way through just continually. I did plan to take breaks now and then to focus on other games. Though, again, a longer game like Tales of Arise might not be the best thing to play in between Ark Knights, or in between sort of uh, seasons of Ark Knights, so to speak. It's worth considering, but something I'll have to think about on my own time, I believe. Sit. <coughs> yeah. Sit. But yes. I, yes, I already talked about all of the scheduling, I already talked about all the time, but yes, next week we should be back to the usual. My work schedule is going to be changing up a little bit in the near future, so I don't know precisely... Yeah, things are going to be changing starting next week, I believe, and there are going to be further changes not too far down the road, so... That will... most of the... Yeah, let me put it another way. The regular streams are not going to be changing. Though, I've been planning on and, you know, am now starting to do... Well, I've been meaning to do. Starting to do is maybe a strong way to put it, but... I've been planning on and hope to execute on this week... Uh, doing three streams each week as opposed to just two. So, what days are available for me to do my third stream are a little bit up in the air at this point and may vary somewhat depending on the week. So we shall see. We shall see. I won't commit to anything specific yet, but the regular stream days will still be when they are, and Saturday is always a pretty good day for me, so that's honestly just a safe bet. So I might as well just plan for Saturday, honestly. Unless I have a specific reason to do something on some other day, Saturday is probably just going to be the best day for me. But yeah, anyway. Not thought about all this in a while, so pardon me for sort of thinking out loud to you all. But yes, anyway. The point of all of this is to say... <laughs> Next week, we should be seeing some more Arc Knights, 8.30pm, continuing, uh, yeah, continuing Gabriel the Great Chief Returns. Friday, we should be seeing some more Coffee Talk and or whatever else we do for the collab. And then Saturday, we will say, not going to guarantee anything, but Saturday is, as I said, the best day for me. Should be seeing some more Mika and the Witch's Mountain. But yes. The Wednesday stream will be at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. The Friday stream should be around 9 p.m. Central Time. And then the Saturday stream should also be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. But yes, okay. I've gotten all of the, the thoughts out of my head, so let's play a video game, huh? But yes, not much else to be said, I don't think. But yes, also, I found the, the code that I was uh, talking about earlier. Yeah, it is Kickstarter-specific, so I'm not going to show it, but I am going to put it into the code machine once we get back there. So, let me think about what we're doing again. So, yes. So, we got the electricity bill delivery started. Or rather, we, we delivered the electricity bill, and we got a negative uh, result. I'm inclined to believe that perhaps the man is upset simply because he received a bill that he didn't like, and that the negative result... I guess it's... well, no, it's it's negative. Anything less than a, than a positive result is negative as far as our job is concerned. But, but yeah. Anyway, the... I don't know, I think Andros might have just given us a bad rating just because he was kind of upset. He seemed to be in a bad mood. I don't know if that had anything to do with the, the, the condition of the parcel itself, because it was fine, as far as I'm aware. I don't think I did anything to disrupt it too much, but... But yeah, anyway, so we've got to return that to W. Soot, and then we need to, yeah, deliver this to Gref. 
which I imagine, yeah, that will be the thing to do once we have settled the... Yeah. While we are there, then we can interact with the code machine and we can see the thing. The trail. Yes, anyway. Now we need to remind myself where I'm going. Hmm. Okay, yes. W soot is over on the right side there. So if I... I guess, yeah, I can just sort of go around the mountain. All right. Oh, yeah. Not a whole lot to be said here, I don't think. Oh, not a whole lot new. Is that... Hold on. I don't think I picked that up before. I guess, yeah. If, it, if I had picked it up, it probably wouldn't be there. Now, would it? All right. So, yes. So, the matter with the scientist is fine, I think. Oops. And, yeah, we only need to worry about getting the package wet. So, the fact that we just... Actually, hold on. Do I have a package on hand? I don't. Hmm. So, we need to remedy that. Uh, I guess it would probably probably be with Andros, unless I left it up with the science equipment, maybe? Hmm. I don't see anything around here that looks like anything of note. Unless, actually... Am I misremembering? No, I do need to bring something to W. Sud. Hmm. Well, I suppose Andros is the most likely source for this thing, considering that he's the person who told me to bring it to W. Soot, so... I suppose we might be hitting up the main office a little bit sooner than I expected. And I think... We might be... Hmm, I don't remember exactly what Andros said when we left last time, just that he was kind of upset, generally speaking. Yes. So, I don't know if we're going to be needing to head back his way once we've spoken to Gref. I think we do, but I can't say that with any tremendous amount of confidence. Hmm. It would be kind of nice to be able to jump out of these drafts. I can see why they, you know, don't, because they're designed to bring you up to a certain height. But it does feel like it would be... I don't know. It would feel nice to be able to jump out of them. Feels like the sort of thing that would reset your jump. Your mid-air jump. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that I do... Like, I don't just need to talk to, to Soot. I do need to bring something to him. Hmm. That's a nice waterfall. Ah, hello, all. Good to see you, as always. Yes, we have, uh... We are well underway in our package delivering, though I seem to have lost one of my packages, so that's a little bit of a concern, but, uh, we'll... We'll be fine, I suppose. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's see, do we have, uh... No, this is the orb that we've already delivered to its resting place. Hmm. And that's the cannon that it activated, I do believe. Let's see, is there anything? Aha, yes there is. Very good. We can probably just go this way. Alright. So... Back to the main office to deal with whatever Andros wants dealt with there. Is that... Oh, interesting. Is that a TV? What? Oh, I see. The plane crashed and the cargo... <clears throat> Good thing it landed on a small island. Alright, we found a television. Interesting. 
Alright, I don't know where this is supposed to go, but I'm guessing into the ocean is not uh, it. So let's uh, avoid getting it wet, as per the instructions. And let's also avoid slamming it too hard into any errant bits of errant bits of geography. I'm a little bit a little bit worried about uh, going through these wind currents, considering that they do make us go quite fast. Hmm. I don't have any inclination of where this television is supposed to go. So I guess we'll just kind of leave it here. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, Alright, so Gref is not willing to speak to us currently. Anyway, now, while I... Yes, hold on. While we're in the area, I will input my secret code. So yes, bu -bu -bu -bum. And I will make double sure that it is not visible. There we go. All right. Oh, did I... Hold on. Hmm. Ah. Ah, there we go. Alright. Got a little bit confused there, because the, the terminal said the code is used, which I at first had interpreted to mean the code had already been used, as in I had already redeemed it. Uh, but no. That does not seem to be the case. Anyway... So, we've got a skin, and we've got a new trail, too. Hmm, actually. Did I select it? Hmm. Actually, that might have been the trail that we had before. Hmm. So, yeah, it's not saying the name of that. Okay, yeah, this is new. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's... Where did, where did I put the television? Oh, dear. Hmm. It might have despawned, I suppose? Hmm. I guess we'll just have to save that matter for when we've actually established what the television is for. So yeah, so it doesn't seem like we can... Unless there's something else to interact with here at the main office. Yeah, we can't go in the building, I don't think. Whoops. But yeah, so we can't go in the building. And there's no other employees to speak to, I don't believe. So, I guess we just need to go back to Andros's place and sort out whatever needs to be done there. Ah oh, yes, the beach and its creatures. Hello, Andros. Can't deprive my goblins of their little leg of their little luxuries. They'll realize we're broke. Well, I do feel for you, but uh, unfortunately, there is not much I can do. I am, I am simply a messenger. All right, so this. Let me just make certain that I know what I'm delivering here. Okay, this... Okay, okay, okay. So this needs to be taken to Gref. Hmm. Okay, so... Ah. Okay, I think I understand. I was mis... I misinterpreted this. So this doesn't need to go to W Soot. I suppose it makes... Well, I was going to say it makes sense that he doesn't need the bill back, but he does need the money back, presumably. So... Maybe Andros is planning to pay at another time. Uh, maybe W so it just got kind of stiffed. Who knows? Sip. One way or another, though, I now know what we need to take to the main office. Yes. Yeah, so this, yeah, this is the the delivery notice. So we will then deliver Andros's package to him.
I do like the effect of the trail. If I've I've gone entirely the wrong way. Oh dear. Hmm. We can put that fire out, probably. Did I where where did the town go? Did I just completely overshoot it? Or oh, oh, okay. I realize now that I what I have done. I got up onto these cliffs and I didn't need to do that. But yes, for some reason I had thought that I had gone down to reach the beach, but now it's roughly, well, it's not on the same elevation as the town, but it's not that far removed. Okay, so I imagine we'll take this to Gref and then we will take the package back to Andros. Mika, it's about time, girl. Remember those two deliveries? They're ready now. Hey. Ah, uh, they'll have to wait, boss. Mr. Andros wants me to pick something up. He gave me the delivery notice. As I thought, this notice is for that drone over there. All right, this one hey. did not mysteriously uh, take damage that it didn't take. I'll go there in a bit, but before that, um, I have other places to go. Ah, uh ah, -uh, this package is high priority. Okay, cool. I get the point. Watch your tone. Don't be so cocky. Do I need to remind you that your last deliveries have been mediocre? That's not true, boss. Huh? Are you seriously calling your boss a liar, girl? Choose your words carefully. No, I'm not, but that's not what happened. At least, that's not how I remember it happening. Indeed, I don't remember it happening that way either. <laughs> Listen, you did such a terrible job, girl, that you ended up with your delivery card full of yellow stamps. That is absolutely not true. Oh, you're breaking my heart. However, I'm willing to give you a second chance. Hmm. I can see you have what it takes, but you just have to let me be your mentor, and everything will be all right. I'm increasingly disliking Graf. Ah, so you need to do what you've been doing, but just with a big smile on your face. Lose the frown. Show willing. Don't grumble. Uh, the customer is always right. Hmm? Oh, I think I get it. You see? It's simple. Now go and practice what you've learned. Andros's two-of-a-kind little imps are waiting for this drone. They're usually wreaking havoc on an islet near the lower ruins. Go fly and make me proud. Smile! Smile, girl! Alright. Drone delivery very urgent. So I assume that means that we... No, okay. It is simply the impression... Oh, dear. Well? Alright. <laughs> So that we did earn. That was damage that we inflicted upon our package. So I'll I will, as they say, take the L on that one. I'm still not convinced that I did anything that was not deserving of a green stamp on our previous delivery. I'm still not convinced of that, but I will accept what just happened. All right, up, and through the arch. Mm, this is bad. Okay. All right, we have saved it. Mm, I don't like what's going on here. So let's take this from a different angle. Up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't have quite the tight turning circle that I would maybe like. But I suppose we can just, yeah, float in and out of the draft as necessary. No brakes on the broom, unfortunately. Let's see. I know where the twins are. We've seen them already. Might have seen them this very episode, in fact. Um, yeah, I suppose it's perfectly fine to just ride this up and drift over that way. That should be sufficient. I might want to use this a little bit as sort of a checkpoint, so to speak, so I don't have to try and hover all that way. 
But yeah, this should be more than more than fine. But yeah, just around the corner here, and there's plenty of drafts, and I'm pretty sure we don't even need any drafts, really. But yeah, so that time... Ah, hello, Pick. Good to see you. But yeah, that time we did... The package did take a little bit of damage. But we weren't going super fast. Oh, they're waving. So it does seem that it's not just when we sort of emit those crash sparks that damage is sustained. Hi, Mika. Ah, my favorite delivery person has arrived. You've got a package for us, right? <sighs> yeah, I do. Huh? Uh, is it our drone? Ah, uh, <laughs> maybe it is, maybe not. Who knows? Obviously it is, Sib. It has to be. Because we paid for an extra quick delivery. Mika, give it to us right now. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, turn it on. Wait, read the instructions first. <laughs> ah, why read when you can fly a drone instead? All right, so that okay. So it did take damage, and we still got a green star or a green sticker, green stamp. But yeah, so clearly that wasn't the issue. But yes, hello, hello to both of you. I suppose I didn't uh, greet you very properly. But yes, good to see you as always. Where are we next? Um, okay, right. We need to go back and talk to Graf. So yeah, given that we definitely didn't damage the... I'm 100% confident that we did not in any meaningful way damage the letter or the bill. I'm 100% certain that we didn't damage the bill. But we did definitely damage that drone. So... It does seem that some damage is okay, and I'm suspecting, yeah, the television despawned, okay. Don't need to worry about it right now because I don't know where it goes. But yes, so some amount of damage is acceptable. You probably don't want to push that, but some amount is acceptable. Ah, new creature. Nice. Lost a little bit of our optimized path there, but oh well. But yes. So, yeah, the more the more things happen, the more I'm suspecting that the reason that we got a bad rating is just because Andros was upset to receive a bill. Which, you know, fair, but, you know, you don't need to be upset at me for that. I'm not the reason that you're having to pay it. But yes, they aren't super kind to gig economy workers here, it seems like, but we're doing our best. And we, yes, I think we can get up on this cliff. And I wonder, I, I want to see if we can get enough height to smash that jar. I get the feeling that no, not from there anyway. Yeah, if we got up to the lab, we could probably strike from there and manage to get it smashed, but... but... Yes, I suppose I should probably try to be a little bit cautious with my time, considering I don't have all that much of it today, as established. I don't know, we might make this just sort of an exploration day, perhaps. I'm interested in seeing what this is all about. Ah, there's an orb in there, so that's what that's about. Alright, we know that much at least. Hmm. And where do we need to land? There we are. And that should be good. Very nice. Temperance. Very nice. Alright, so back into town. 
we can now get started on our next batch of deliveries. And we should be able to pick up two items at once. And we should also be able to break that, though. There's not a lot of great vantage points to do it from around here, I don't think. Anyway, hello, Graf. Goodbye, Graf. Apparently you have nothing to say to me. Um, I guess maybe we need to... Ah. I think we need to go and talk to the people, probably. I like Opic, so let's go see Opic first. Oh, is this... Oh, no. The, I was going to say, are these collectibles? But no, they are simply fish bowls. Given the mention of an aquarium again, I do suspect that maybe we might have sort of a fish collecting side quest, perhaps. It might be something that we need to unlock. Ah, another creature. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Anyway. Ah, the dog likes me now. And there's another creature. We are simply replete with creatures right now. But yes. Uh, I'm assuming... Hmm, I'm assuming I can break that. I think we've got a good position that we can try to strike from. If we get up onto this uh, structure here. That should maybe give us enough height. All right. Hmm. That didn't go quite so well. Ah, but there's another collectible here. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have noticed that you you can get a fair amount of height going, sort of sliding up certain slopes. Though not all of them seem to be applicable for that. Actually, this might be a lower place to start, and thus more appropriate. Hmm. Alright, we can't get into that structure there. Oh dear. Yeah, I suppose we don't need to be super careful here, because we can just go back straight back up the slope as necessary. Alright. But we can't, oh dear, can't go up that slope, and we might not be meant to. We might be able to get enough height just going off of the edges of the dry dock here. Though so that does, mm, no, that doesn't feel like, yeah, that doesn't feel like it. Maybe up the roof of this building, but we need a better, yeah, we need, actually, we could probably, yeah, okay, I'm seeing it now. So if we go up here, sort of like a ramp, that'll get us up to here. And this might be a little bit farther than we'd be able to really make use of. But from this higher vantage point, we might be able to drift onto here. Okay, so that was good. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I did kind of squander our opportunity there, but... Here we go. This might be what we're looking for. Nice. Okay. The Fool. That's a cute one. But yeah, given that we didn't seem to need to land directly on top of the thing, probably I didn't need to do a whole lot of, or quite as much of that, uh, all of that as I did. Oh, hold on. We're getting past where I was going, aren't we? Oh yes, by a significant margin, in fact. So, let's turn around. And, uh, let's actually find Opic. Distinct from Picanha Pick. Let's see. I know he was out this way. Is he that far out this way? Yes. Okay. I feel like we go a little bit slower over the water. Yeah, we definitely, I don't know, it might just be the addition of, like, more landmarks giving me a better sense of speed, but it definitely feels like we're going faster now that we're out of the water. Hmm. 
And there's another cannon there. So if we bring an orb out this way, this would be good. Hello, Pick. Ahoy, sailor. Do you need a hand on deck? Oh, uh, ahoy. Uh, still not used to you showing up out of the blue, matey. <laughs> Sip. <clears throat> uh, Brom told me he wanted some pink seaweed for an out-of-this-world ice cream recipe. But I can't help but think he's sailing a bit too close to the wind. What? Oh, I always forget. You don't speak sailor. I was trying to say... He's doing something risky. He should listen to his uncle. Brom told me that his uncle didn't like his fusion cooking, and I'd be in the same boat as him. <laughs> hmm, seaweed ice cream sounds a bit weird, yeah. But perhaps it might turn out to be an amazing discovery. Mm. Yuck, not for me, matey. Anyway, could you deliver Brom this pink seaweed? <laughs> no sooner said than done. It's been dried, so beware of water, or it'll be totally ruined. Dried pink seaweed. Very nice. Alright. So, we're a little bit close to the water, on account of being in a boat and all, so I... Mm. Yeah, okay. I think we might need to get that orb that I was thinking of. Because, yeah, I don't... Let's try this. Uh, I'm not super confident that I can make it that far, and right now I can't get back into the boat. Um, but yeah, I don't think we could have made it here from the boat, and I don't think we could have made it to... Well, we could have made it to the cannon place, but I don't think there would have been much point in doing that. Because, yeah, this isn't going to take us back to the mainland, what with it not being powered up. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need an orb if we want to deal with this. I suppose that was a expected conclusion. I guess we could have kept going this way, but now that I've set my sights on an orb, I'm not giving up. So yeah, so there was another fire up by the lab there. There was another orb somewhere that wasn't. There, yeah, there was near the windy meadow, I think. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, where are the... There were sponges here, weren't there? Or no, they were on the beach. Right. Presumably these are sea sponges and not... I guess... I don't know. People use sea sponges as sponges, cleaning sponges. Hence why sponges have their the name that they do. Or I guess hence why they both have the same name. I don't know... I don't know which came first, now that I think about it. I don't know how long the sponge stays wet. Hmm. Ah. Interesting result. So it seems that waterfalls are not, in fact, made of water. Good to know. But, we now have a wet sponge. Interesting that it uses the sort of same general mechanics as getting a package wet, apparently. Because, yeah, I noticed that it has the same, like, water icon over it. So I guess the way that the, the, way that the game handles the two are the, is the same, which is an interesting thought. But yes, and this should take us over to the lab. And assuming that the wet sponge doesn't cease to be wet at some point, we should be in business. Alright, we don't quite have the height. But we can probably catch another draft somewhere. Oh, we don't need to. Never mind. This should be fine. And we should get a little bit more updraft off of this fire as we put it out. Very good, very good. Okay. I don't think we need the sponge anymore, so I suppose we should get rid of it. Alright, orb acquired, so this should make our lives a little bit easier. I do... those rings probably have something to do with something. I don't... I guess those could be the levitators we learned about last time. 
But one way or the other, the cannon is now active. So that will give us a very safe way to get back to the mainland. And maybe I shouldn't have taken it just yet because we do need to go back to the boat. But, you know, we should make it to the boat from here, actually. We've got a good angle. And our descent isn't too dramatic. All right. And away we go. So we need to avoid getting it wet. And easily done. Very good, very good. Do we want to pick up another package while we're out? I suppose we're not, like, close to the Windy Meadow, but we're close enough. At the very least, it'd be nice to have another interaction. We're probably not going to be... Yeah, probably not going to be... We are probably going to be finishing up soon-ish, so... Getting started on another thing will put us in a good position for next time. And there's not a whole lot of water in the Windy Meadow, so we should be fine on that. Yeah, interesting. Okay, yeah, I was going to I was going to say I was looking at those structures. The uh structures with the blue lines in them, and I was wondering for a little bit if they if they just sort of were yeah, I noticed the glow there, them having a pulsing glow to them, and I was wondering if that was just a, let's make sure we're, get a little bit of a hop here, just to be a bit safe. Yeah, I was wondering if that glow was just the product of perhaps differing angles, or my imagination, or if it was actually visible. Actually, okay, now we do need to go a fair ways away. Right, is that? Yeah, that's the other orb I was thinking of, I do believe. Ah, and we have a nice... Okay, hmm. Actually, oh, I like the seagulls all around us. Very nice. So, we're going to want to be careful so that I don't get the seaweed wet. We can maybe drop a little bit as long as we're cautious. There we go. So yes, now we have two packages. I want to get up on the column for a little bit more distance, just to be safe. And away we go. Yes, so I think we should be able to make it out to that cannon pretty easily. I've been wrong before, but I think we're right this time. I think. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're not coming in too fast. Very good, very good. And we can drop, because nothing here is breakable. Very good, very good. And so yes, this should take us a little bit closer to our destination. If maybe not exactly there. And, okay, our next person is by the train tracks. It could be that person that we saw at the train station earlier. Uh-oh, uh -oh. the train hasn't arrived. Has something happened? Are you okay, ma'am? Can I help you? Oh, sweetie. Are you from the delivery company? Yes, at your service, Miss... Cecile. I'm a farmer on this side of the Island of Winds. I need you to deliver this letter to my son. Uh, my Jean-Paul should be at the Arilla Town train station. Easy peasy, miss. Don't worry. Alright, so this one, uh, shouldn't be impacted, nor should it be wetted. No, let's see. Hold on. I can, well... I was going to say I can think of a better way to phrase that, but I don't know. <laughs> wetted is almost certainly not a word, but I suppose it doesn't matter too much. Very good. I do like, we have a little bit of physics on the, on the packages. They probably, probably won't be damaged if we, or like, fall off or anything if we mess around. Though, there is a part of me that stresses caution at pretty much every, every, uh, junction. Yeah. I wasn't initially planning on completing these two deliveries, but they're relatively close by, I do believe. 
At the very least, they're both in the immediate vicinity of Arilla Town, so... Hey, hey Jean-Paul. <laughs> Wee! Those birds' colors are totally mesmerizing. Hmm. Hey, are you Jean-Paul? I have a letter for you. Hey. Darn, must be from my mom. She must be flippin'. I'm so late. Aww. Yeah, she did seem a bit worried. Um. My dear Jean-Paul, I hope you come home soon. Don't let every little feather along the way distract you. Huh? <sighs> what a lovely way to describe how happy bird watching makes me. 12 out of 10 on the empathy scale, Mom. Um. I'm writing you this letter because it makes what I have to say easier to express. You are so young, you want to follow your dreams, but right now I need you at home. I can't cope with the farm on my own anymore. Hmm. It breaks my heart, son. I want you to go to college and not end up like me. My life could be so much better, but I'm just a simple farmer. Hey. Mom, don't put yourself down. Not again. Hmm. I hope you can forgive me. I feel like I'm holding you back, but this will only be temporary. In the meantime, you can have a good time here at the farm with me and our birds. Love, Mom. Oh. Are you okay? Huh? Uh... Uh, my mom is always blaming herself for not providing me with what she thinks is a decent life. But going to college and ending up as a desk jockey in the big city, that is not my idea of a decent life. My dream to be a bird breeder has been inspired by how good her life is, is on the farm. <laughs> I can relate. Parents always want the best for their children. If only they would learn how to listen. <laughs> you can say that again. Anyway, hold on a minute. I have to write back. Okay, here you go. Can you deliver this letter to my mom? <laughs> on my way. Alright. So I think... Probably we will go and deliver the seaweed, and then we'll get back to this next time. Not that we're necessarily that... Not that we're necessarily that pressed for time, but... Hmm. Oh, okay, no. I was going to... I was going to just sort of see if I could interact with this volleyball in some way, and I started idly going towards this man, but no, we are not going to interact with him again after I destroyed his sandcastle the last time. I do not want to bring him such sorrow again. Hello, chef. How's it going? I'm... Now is not a good time. I'm in the middle of something really important. Oh, oh okay. I was just passing by to... Uh, although, without the seaweed, I'm stuck, so... Okay, what's up? <laughs> Brom, here is your seaweed! Ah. Uh, how do you always manage to bring me just what I need? It's my job. <laughs> well, a witch never, ever reveals her secrets. Alright, seaweed delivered. <laughs> Now, I can make the pink seaweed ice cream. Um, it's delicious, I promise. Well, that's how I remember it. Mouth-watering. Though my Uncle Taka didn't approve of it. Oh, wait. I need you for an errand. I'm making an ice cream for Opik to say thanks. Everyone knows a mariner's opinion can be fierce as the open sea, but, uh, his heart is in the right place. Just let me add the seaweed topping. <laughs> All right, ready to ship. Oh, it actually does seem yummy. Ah, I know in my heart that Mara ice cream is a good idea. Mara? Ah, yes, it's the name of the beautiful place where I come from that inspired this recipe. Um. Uh, well, will you take a pick this Mara ice cream? <laughs> yes, chef! But brr, hurry up, please, before it melts. Alright, well, it looks like we have one more delivery to make. Uh, and indeed, we have no time to waste. Okay. So, Opik is probably where we left him, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. So, we need to be somewhat swift. 
Neither of these can get wet, but the ice cream can't get warm also, so we need to be careful. We need to ride this up. I think this will be fine. <laughs> I hope this will be fine. Not too far away, I suppose. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Good thing that we were able to talk to them from behind. Ahoy, sailor! I have a gourmet Mara ice cream for you. Hey. Uh, uh, is this the one made from the pink seaweed? <laughs> yes, it is. Ram was really keen to get your opinion on this. It seemed pretty important to him. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Although, to be fair, it doesn't look so bad. It smells nice, too. Alright, I'll give it a try. Hey. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does it taste good? Hey. Well, I have to say, matey. It has a creamy texture. It's really sweet, actually, but with salty notes. Mm. Sink me. I'd have never have thought that seaweed ice cream could be so tasty. <laughs> so, Brahm was right after all. <laughs> Aye, and I was wrong. Maybe, uh, I was wrong about everything, Mika. Oh, is everything okay? Mm, I was thinking about my old man. I had to sail really far from here to get this seaweed. Then suddenly I started to feel really bad, like, I don't know, as if I was leaving Ovel behind. However, at the same time, I really enjoyed being there, far away on the open seas. Uh, if only I could just listen to my heart the same way Brahm does, I would be happy. Well, your grandpa will understand. He used to be a sailor, too. Yeah, maybe. I should talk to him. Alright, the Mara ice cream has been delivered. And now I think we will wrap up. Mm, this feeling of joy on the open sea is what my old man describes in his stories. Alright, and as we gaze out upon the island with our hands full of letter. Quite a, quite a hefty letter, this. I suppose the two of them must write a little bit more than they let on, but... Now, we will wrap up as we shake a little bit. I do like the frog bag also. I didn't point that out before, but it's very cute. Anyway, so. Yeah, now we're much closer to the time that I usually like to wrap up. But yes, anyway. So, all of that being said, it has been fun. And now it is time for us to conclude. So. If anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a target on my own. One way or the other, though, I am going to be uh, going over the business, first of all. Tip. Yes. So, tonight has been, has been Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Tomorrow, we will see. If Sheps is available, then we'll be playing Coffee Talk once again. Hopefully getting that wrapped up. If Sheps is not available, we'll be playing Ark Knights. And then, once again on Saturday, we'll be playing Ark Knights. The Friday stream should be around 9 p.m. Central Time. The Saturday stream should be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I suppose, yeah, just to be clear, the Friday stream is also planned for 9 p.m., not 9 a.m., just in case. But yes, next week, we should be seeing some more of the expected schedule, Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday being Ark Nights, Friday being the collab or Ark Nights, as availability dictates. And we will plan on Saturday, next Saturday, being the time for, uh, yeah, next Saturday being the day for the next Mika and the Witch's Mountain stream. So yes, the Wednesday stream is expected around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. The Friday stream is expected around 9 p.m. Central Time, and then the Saturday stream is also expected around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. All that being said, I'm not seeing any raid suggestions, so I do believe we're going to go and drop by Sroka, who is playing some Valheim. Yes. So, 
I think that should cover it. We've gone over all the business. We've done all of the notable things and said all of the notable things. So let's get this raid set up. Roka V2. Oops. I always, whenever I write out V2, I always want to conclude it with an R. VTuber. But there's a lot of people who go by, you know, such and such VTube and not such and such VTuber. Just a little bit of my usual pedantry, I suppose. But yeah, anyway. So, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>